Have you heard all over the internet about making 10K a month? about how it's the sweet spot when it comes to making money online. How it gives you all the comforts, but none of the stresses of making millions and millions. I worked for seven long years to get to 10K per month, and when I got there, I realized this terrible problem. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what this problem is, why it's especially important for Muslim men to understand it. And this is coming from someone who's been doing business online for over seven years and has generated millions of dollars online for myself and my clients, alhamdulillah. Just a thousand pounds a month. When I started business, I was still living with my parents. And I sat there one day and I calculated, what is the minimum money I need to make to survive. Even if I was married, which I really wanted to at that time, how much was the minimum that I could just scrap together to make a living online? What was that minimum I needed to survive? And after doing the maths and taking out any luxuries just to see what the minimum was I could live on, I came up with the number 1,000 pounds. So this became my mission to just make a thousand pounds online, just to have that privilege, that dream of making money on my own terms from my own business and online from anywhere in the world. Now, let me ask you something. What if that whole time when I was working towards that goal of 1,000 pounds, I had this number 10,000 pounds in my head or $10,000. Imagine if I'd been watching videos about 10,000 a month and how it's very easy. And if you're not making 10,000 a month, you're an idiot at this point. I would have felt really so far off and I might have even given up because I felt so far away from that 10,000 a month. But because I was aiming for just 1,000 a month, just to get started, I really kept going. I could see light at the end of the tunnel. And in fact, when I first started my marketing agency, I got my first client and they were paying me 800 pounds. Now that didn't go straight into my pocket, of course. I did have business partners, but I did see that light at the end of the tunnel. I did see that I could get to that 1,000 pounds in my own pocket sooner rather than later. So the first major problem with this 10,000 pounds or dollars a month goal is that until you reach it, it feels very far off. And it's something that naturally it will take time to get to. So as long as you have this number in your head that you're constantly thinking of and moving towards and you think it's a very easy and achievable and quick thing to get to, you're going to feel pretty disappointed, pretty let down, pretty far from this basic goal. And as long as you've not reached that goal, you feel like a failure. And when you feel like a failure, you're more likely to quit. And the worst thing you could do in business is quit. Because the goal in business, the rule in business is to just stay alive. Even Warren Buffett says this, even though he's made billions and billions through his investments, he always says the goal's not necessarily to make loads of money, but don't lose your money. Don't die. Don't just survive. Just stay in the game of business. Because the longer you're in the game of business, the more development you get, the more skills you get, and the closer you get to actually making 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 pounds a month and more in charge. Now let's take the second problem. Imagine you started your online business. It's been a long journey, but you're actually making 3,000 pounds a month now. And you might still have a job, but you're very much on the way to quitting that job and living full time of this new business that you've built from scratch. Now imagine at the same time as that, you're watching all these YouTube videos talking about 10,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 10,000 a month. How are you going to feel about that very special 3,000 pounds that you've got to alhamdulillah from scratch? You see, when I was on the come up, I made zero pounds, zero dollars from my business for the first two years. And to be honest with you, what kept me going is the promise, the certainty from Allah that my rizq is written. And I don't need to do desperate things and chase all this stuff to get something that was already written for me in the first place. I kept going with the fuel that I should have good expectations of Allah. That Allah would not let me down. He would not ignore my constant du'as for success. I had certainty that it would pay off eventually. And I even thought of being grateful. In that state where I'd made no money so far, I thought of being grateful as an actual way of making money. Because Allah says, وَلَئِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ if you're grateful, then I'll give you more. And I wanted more. And the Prophet ﷺ himself, he said, don't look to those above you. Look to those below you. And that will make you grateful, of course. So gratitude was not just something I used to make me feel better in the moment. It was something that I saw as a method of actually making money. And if I wasn't grateful, I would have felt worse. I would have been less motivated and I might even have quit. So the second big problem with this 10K a month figure is that it makes you ungrateful as long as you're not there and you're always seeking this number and as long as you're not at that number, you're broke. It can stop you being grateful, which is actually a method of making more money, but it also stops you enjoying the small victories along the way, which are just beautiful, to be honest, and it might even make you quit. So what do you do? 
Be grateful with every single victory, your first five pounds, your first hundred pounds, your first thousand pounds. And if you're on that two, three, four thousand pounds and you're actually able to do this full time, then definitely be grateful whilst you still work towards that 10,000 number. But now look, I know all the videos out there are telling you that 10,000 is so easy and it's the minimum really when it comes to business and I might be sounding a bit negative compared to those. You should still never quit. Why? Because trust me, the privilege of making money online, being able to work from anywhere and being able to, if not today, then tomorrow, free up your time and do more of what you want to do, it is fully, fully worth it. Even when I was making only 3,000 pounds a month, it allowed me to get married. It allowed me to travel to Malaysia, to Turkey, to live in the UAE. And for me, most importantly, it allowed me to go full time on business instead of having to have a day job and then work on it as a side hustle. It allowed me to visit my family whenever I need it and even save up money to go to Hajj. So really, really, bro, you should never belittle any money you've made online. And as long as you're working towards that goal of eventually going full time with it, it should never be belittled. And you should really see this as a top 1% lifestyle, even if you're only making 3,000 pounds a month, 2,000 pounds a month, whatever number allows you to go full time, that is a beautiful thing. So the third problem with this 10,000 pounds a month mentality is not seeing this making money online opportunity for what it is, which is the ability to reach for an amazing balanced lifestyle where you can live wherever you want, especially in the Muslim world. You can travel, you can do what you love. And we really have to appreciate how amazing that is. So I'm here to tell you, bro, never give up. Keep working on your business, even if it takes five years, 10 years to get there, which inshallah, it will not be in the it is worth it because this lifestyle of making money from anywhere in the world and working online, it is really worth the work. But of course, you won't get to 10,000 a month or even full time in any capacity from just sitting there. You need the roadmap and even examples of people who have done it before you. So what you need to do right now is watch this next video where I take you through my entire business journey, the ups, the downs, and the lessons you can take from it so you can get there even faster, inshallah. I'll see you in that video. Assalamu alaikum. Click now. Click now. I'm looking. I'm looking at you. Click now. I'm waiting. Yes. Click. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Tap. Tap it. Yes. Bismillah. Great. Good. Good job.